Hi guys, it's Cal from Dirty Weasel. Welcome to the first installment of Fallout 4 Modding. Today we are going to install two basic mods that change the way we open locks and hack terminals. They are the appropriately named Easier Hacking and Easy Lockpick. This early in the modding scene, we are going to have to go old school by installing them manually. Don't worry, it's easier than you think. Before we begin, I want to encourage everyone to support your favorite modder by donating. This shows your appreciation for all their hard work and keeps them going on making more good mods for us. So let's get started. So we're going to take a look at both the lock picking and hacking mechanisms. And we all know the mechanics in this. You know, you get unlock and you can try to unlock it and you see how many bobby pins you have. And you know, you can break bobby pins this way. Okay, gotta break it, gotta break it. There we go, broke it. So there's that. And uh, you can go ahead and escape out. So we all know how that works. And uh, let's go over and check the unlock with the hacking on the computer terminal. Come on. Let me in. Let me in. There we go. And you see it's going to go through all the lists. And you're going to have a bunch of words on here. We all know how this works. And uh, you have to go through and find the right word. So... You know, there's a bunch from here depending on the difficulty of the computer. So let's go ahead and exit out of that. Now let's go show you how to install a mod to uh, change both those mechanics. So before we get started installing these two mods, let me recommend that you go through and set up your game for modding in the first place. And I'm going to recommend Gopher's video on setting up your game for modding. And there's an excellent video that he did. I suggest you watch it. Uh, I'm not going to rehash old information. He did an excellent presentation on it. And we're just going to leave it at that. Let's go ahead and get started installing the mods. Now the ones I've chosen are over on the Nexus and it is easier hacking with options, easy lockpick guaranteed pickpocket by Rawberry 400. It is Nexus Mods Fallout 4 Mods number 306. What he's done, he's included a number of ESPs that you can go ahead and get for these different options. So you can come through and you can read all this update 11, 12, 15. So it's recently updated to a couple days ago. And as with all mods, I recommend that you read all the information, especially the installation information. And definitely, you know, go through and make sure all this stuff is covered. You know, just, just be aware of that. When you come over to files, go and click on that, you're going to be presented with three main things. And the number one is easier hacking with all options. Pick one ESP and install. Read description for instructions. Okay, you read the description. We can move on. Easy lock pick makes any position of the bobby pin work for lock picking. That will solve that problem with the lock pick breaking. Read description for install and download that. And then if you're interested in guaranteed pickpocket, I'm not. Uh, there's an ESP for that. We're just going to be downloading the first two, but guaranteed pickpocket's the same way. So there you go. So go and uh, download manually. Easier hacking all options and download manually easy pickpocket. All right? I've already done that and they're on my desktop. Let's go take a look. So this is the easier hacking, and of course you have easy lock pick. Now, easier lock easier hacking has a number of ESPs when you open it. If you don't know what this program is, WinRAR 7zip does the same thing. And you're gonna be presented with one, two, three, four, five different ESPs, depending on the level of difficulty that you wish to have in your game. Easier hacking, one word, of course, is just one word on the screen. So, you know, three words, five words, whatever you difficulty you want to have. Now, just remember, guys, these ESPs do not change the difficulty that is required to hack a certain computer. This just affects the number of words that are shown on the screen when you finally get through it. So for me, since I'm a YouTuber and I want to be able to just get through it quickly and edit it out, I'm going to choose the one word ESP. So what I'm going to do is just go and hold it, grab it, and put it on my desktop. Just like that. It's a single ESP. That's all you need to have. And then we're also going to do easy lockpick. When you open this up with WinRAR, you open that up, you're presented with easy lockpick ESP. Just one ESP. There's no difficulty level involved. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put it on my desktop. And close this down. Now I can go ahead and throw those away. I've got the ESPs that I need. Okay, let's go and put those on our desktop over here and we'll just hide them. Now what we're going to do is go to where our Steam games are installed. And for me, that's on G Drive. Now, of course, you know, 
as far as where you want to have your game installed, I installed mine on a separate drive that protects it from any of the, uh, you know, file protections that Windows has. If you have it on your C drive, if you put it into program files or x86, you're going to have problems. So go into your games or wherever you keep it. And it's under Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Fallout 4. And you can, of course, you see this is where the Fallout4.exe is. If you ever have trouble, you know, finding these extensions, don't worry about it too much. There's videos to see on that. Gamer Poets has a good one on that. So what you're going to do is go into Data. Open Data up, and you're going to see all the BA2 files and the ESM for Fallout 4. Now what you're going to do, if I can find my two ESPs, here's the easier hacking. We'll just copy that to Data and easy lock pick and copy that to data. And that's all there is to it. I mean, you've seen easier hacking now and easy lock pick ESP are both in there. It didn't make any other changes. So now that those ESPs are installed, we need to make sure that the mods are properly installed in our game. So what you're gonna do is there's two ways. I'm gonna go ahead and have you come over to your C drive. Of course, mine is Dirty Weasel. And you're gonna go into users and then go into Dirty Weasel again, whatever your user is, and that's me. And you're going to look for App Data. Now, if you don't see App Data, that's because it is a hidden file. There's a couple different ways to do this, but basically the easiest on Windows 10 is to go ahead and go over to your View tab, go over to Options and click that, and go to View. Now, you can see I have under here, under Hidden Files and Folders, I have Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. Most people are going to have Don't Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives, but you want to go ahead and click that option and hit Apply and hit OK. And you should see it. When you open this up, if you go into Local and you come down to Fallout 4, you can see I have a plugins.txt. Go ahead and double click that. It's a simple text file. And you can see we have Fallout 4 ESM. I was playing around with uh, easyhacking.esp, which is a different program, a different mod, but it's still showing up here. I'm going to go ahead and leave this in here just for shits and giggles and see what happens. But easier hacking, one word ESP, easy lockpick ESP. These are the two mods that we just installed. Okay, so we're going to close that down. Now, this is why I don't prefer this. We're going to close that down and close that down as well. Now, when you start your Fallout 4 game, if you come over here and if you've configured your game properly, if you click under his right eye right here, right here somewhere, there it is, you can see the two mods we just installed, easier hacking one word ESP and easy lockpick.esp. Okay? Up here you can click to Fallout 4 Workshop and go get more mods that way. But this is a basic configurator for data files that you may have added to your game. So you can either activate them or deactivate them, activate them like that. like that, and you can change the load order. Now, load order is very important when you start getting to different mods that may conflict with each other and what overwrites the other. And you can actually modify your load order. It's not very important for these two because they don't really interact too well. So go ahead and you can move it up and down. See, just like that. You can do it for both. Simple stuff, all right? So if we want to go ahead and move that one up, there it goes. If we say we don't want an easy lockpick anymore, take it off. It's a very simple program. There's not a lot to it, all right? So you can also delete, delete to select it, and it will probably remove it just fine, all right? So that's the basics. So we can close, cancel that. Now let's go into our game and see what we've done. So here we are back at the same door in computer terminal. If we come down to the lockpick and we click E to enter, we're going to go ahead and notice that uh, no matter what we do, we open it. Got it. Just done. I mean, just that simple. 100% chance. Okay, now the computer terminal. If we try to unlock this and let it go through its login, we'll just speed it up here. You can see all the other words are gone and you only have fried left. So that's one word. Makes it very easy. Nice. And we're in. So if you, you know, don't appreciate the mechanics of the minigames for this, that's one option, you know. Some people do, some people don't. I'm not a big fan of the uh, the mini games. It just takes up my time. But uh, it, like I said, it doesn't change the difficulty level of the locks and the computer hacking. It just changes.
the words and the easiness thereof. So there you go guys, I hope those two mods will uh, improve your game. And if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and join me on my Let's Play that will be every Wednesday and Saturday from here on out. So once again guys, thanks again, my name's Cal, I'm from Dirty Weasel, and I'm signing off.